this crime fighter is part of a group called the Watchmen. Welcome ladies and gentlemen and here we're going to be doing the origins of Daniel Dryberg, otherwise known as Night Owl. So raised in a wealthy family by an abusive father and a protective mother, Daniel Dryberg was fascinated by the legend of the masked hero, Night Owl. He was able to uncover Night Owl's identity by tracking him to his headquarters and offered to be his partner, but the hero turned him down. When his father suffered a heart attack, the young Dryberg waited before calling for assistance, causing him to die. At the funeral, he was approached by Night Owl, who took him on as an apprentice. Soon afterwards, Night Owl retired from crime fighting, and three years later, Dryberg took up the mantle. While a costumed crime fighter, he met and worked with Rorschach for a time, and was supportive of the formation of the Crime Busters, an abortive effort to unify the masked community. He retired in 1977 following the passage of the Keen Act and became an orthological scholar. Dan Dryberg was created by Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons. He made his first appearance in Watchmen No. 1. The character is based on Ted Kord and also shares some similarities with Batman. In the original Watchmen continuity, Dryberg was described as having written a letter to the original Night Owl asking to be allowed to carry on the name after the former had already retired. This was reconnected, reconnected in the Before Watchmen series, which depicted a young Dryberg tracking down Mason prior to his retirement and seeking to work as his partner. This new version also introduced several details of Dryberg's history. In the Watchmen storyline, Dryberg is approached by his former partner Rorschach, who has grown increasingly violent and erratic in the years since their partnership dissolved. Rorschach, who is investigating the murder of the comedian, warns him that there may be a masked killer operating in the area who may target Dryberg. Dryberg brushes him off, but is nonetheless troubled. He is contacted by Laurie, and the pair meet in remnants about superheroics later getting involved in a fight with a street gang together. Following Dr. Manhattan's self-exile, he invites Laurie to live with him, and the pair soon put on their costumes to save people from a burning building. Exhilarated in the aftermath, they begin a physical relationship. He proposes breaking the recently arrested Rorschach out of prison, to which Laurie reluctantly agrees. They succeed, but in so doing, anger a street gang who attack and kill Mason in his home, believing him to be the night owl who freed Rorschach. While investigating the mask killer's theory, Dryberg learns of Mason's death from a gang member and has to be physically restrained by Rorschach. The pair visit several sources of information along the way, unraveling the nature and scope of the conspiracy that surrounds them, including that Adrian Veidt has been orchestrating events all along. He flies himself in Rorschach to fight Antarctic headquarters where they confront the man who easily bests them both in combat. Veidt is able to convince Dryborg and all other assembled heroes, save Rorschach, to allow him to carry out his plan to fake an alien attack to save the world from itself. In the aftermath, Dryborg and Lori, presumed dead in the explosion, take on new identities as a married couple and plan to continue their masked adventures. So are you a fan of the crime fighter Night Owl? Make sure to put it down in the comments below and of course as always I'd like to see you all next time.